Well, Pink Floyd is considered one of the most influential groups in modern music. They inspired the five members of Floyd, a, a tribute group. The band will be on stage Saturday evening at Sumter Amphitheater in Papillion. We're happy to have them here this morning. Here's Floyd with Bree. That's Floyd. All right, Floyd. Nicely How you doing? Done, good, to see you. good to see you. Yeah. See you. Should we uh, introduce some of the other guys in the band as yeah. well? Yeah, hi, Rick. Uh, hi. Yeah, introduce nice us, would you? Here. Over here on keyboards, we have Scott Moore. Hi. I don't know where to go. You right know. over here. <laughs> okay. Back here on drums, we have Jess Espeo. Yeah, hi, Jess. Over here on guitar, we have Kenny Harris. Hi, Kenny. We're missing well, one today, yeah. uh, Christopher um, Spurgeon. He plays bass, and he is uh, a camp leader today. So oh, he's, good. Gotcha. He's, he's not really missing. He's just well, not here. Yeah, he's just uh -huh. not here. I see. What was it about Pink Floyd that you guys decided to kind of uh, play their music and, and be a tribute band? For us, I know it's one of our favorite bands. And uh, Pink Floyd has such a huge catalog. Mm -hmm. And also, they have such a diverse following. Um, you have all ages. When we play shows, mm -hmm. we look out on the crowd and we see kids and we see young adults and we see boomers uh -huh. and you get the whole crowd. Yeah, so. I, I understand that because I grew up with my parents who loved classic rock and they were listening to it. Some of my buddies in high the school wall, were saying, the wall, right? and, and then my the friends in high school one. were saying, hey, have you heard of Pink Floyd? Are you? And you're like, wait a minute, we've got 30 years between these people right. and they all love this music. Right. How do you incorporate, because I think about Pink Floyd and what they brought visually to the stage, yes. so how do you incorporate some of those elements into your shows? Well, well when we do our shows, we uh, have um, we use uh, video projections in the mm -hmm. back, plus lights and yeah, uh, lights. all of that. So a lot of the video projections we use kind of help interpret what we're doing in the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on Saturday night you'll be playing. Who's going to be opening up for you on Saturday? We have a band called Nemaha County, mm -hmm. and they're an acoustic group, an original acoustic Where group. Where are they from? They are uh, if from... If they're not from Nemaha County, I'm going to fall over. No, no. Uh, <laughs> some of them are from uh, down in the Auburn area. Okay. And uh, some of them from up here. Uh, they're acoustic, low, um, original group. Uh -huh. And then after that, we have Peace, Love, Etc. 
uh, going to be playing. They play a lot of uh, 60s and 70s mm -hmm. classic rock and roll stuff, and they're a lot of fun. Tell us about the venue, Sumter Amphitheater. Well, it's, uh, it's in Papillion, mm -hmm. and uh, it has 350 regular seats, plus there's a big grassy area there. So if you have lawn chairs and blankets mm -hmm. and things like that, bring them. Uh, our show is going to really be kind of early. It's on 4th of July, but mm -hmm. we're, the gates open at 3.30, and the music kicks off at 4.30. We're going to wrap up the whole show, mm -hmm. be done about dusk. So if you have some stuff you want to go home and blow up, you can feel free to do that or head over to Ralston for That's the right. uh, fireworks display over Sounds there. Sounds like a plan. And, and your history, where are you guys from? Uh, we're uh, from this area. Mm -hmm. I know uh, some of us are from Iowa, and uh, we have some, you know, yeah. from Omaha as well. Sure. There's a distinction, I think, to be made that you're a tribute band, that you don't right. dress up, you're not trying to be, show up in costume. No, because, I mean, really, Pink Floyd kind of <laughs> wears what, what we're wearing uh -huh. right now. And uh, what we're doing today is just more of an acoustical mm -hmm. version, but when we do the show, it's uh, the full deal. We got all the electric guitars and the big banks of keyboards and yeah. uh, the whole deal. Well, That's we get awesome. it. We, we force you to tame it down in here because our studio is not big enough, but you guys do put on a big show. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Hey, yeah. Rick, what's the best way to get tickets for Saturday? Well, you can go to sumter.org mm -hmm. and go on there. Um, get them in advance because you save a few bucks. Yeah, a it's going to be $8 mm -hmm. in advance, and then the day of show, it will be $10. Still not a bad price. Mm -hmm. you got three bands. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be quite a party. I Have you done Sumter before? No, this is my first time. Yeah. This yeah. is all our first time. Doug, right what, the guy who runs the show over there, tell yeah. him hello because he's joined us a few times. Okay, right. Yeah, they're so proud of that venue. They've put a lot into it the last few years, um, doing some remodeling and, and really making it a showpiece there in Papillion. And then I want to encourage our viewers to check you out on Facebook and on Twitter. So right. if you're into Pink Floyd and you love Floyd's sound, but you can't make it on Saturday, maybe keep an eye out for their next show. But you're going to stick around. Yes. Okay. Don't go too far. A little bit all more. Right. We'll see.